This Ramadan, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA hosted a nationwide initiative that opened its mosques in 35 US cities to host interfaith iftar events, attracting nearly 1,000 guests and visitors to the first in-person iftar event in over two years. With the rare convergence of Ramadan, Easter, and Passover, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA understood this year to be an opportunity to bring people together from various faiths, all focusing on intensifying prayers during these holy days. Titled Justice Through Compassion, the Interfaith Iftar events featured special guest speakers from the U.S. Senate, the U.S. House of Representatives, local civic and law enforcement leaders, as well as faith leaders from different communities. The same commandment in these two verses, in two places in the Torah, in one place, observing it is called tzedek, tzedakah, just. In another verse, the same commandment is called hanun, compassionate. Now more than ever, we need to focus on bringing our community together in acts of peace, love, and justice. The Ahmadiyya community has remained committed to providing critical and compassionate services, like your weekly Humanity First food bank. And what you've been able to accomplish gives me hope that we can build a brighter and more just future together. I think the Ahmadiyya community is a model for every Muslim community, you know, reaching out, using the iftar to build friends for the community is exactly what we should be doing. So you bring in people who are not Muslim, you bring in the, the local political issues, you bring in you know, different folks from various walks of life, bringing in the Christian pastors, Jewish folks, other folks. This is the way we build a loving community. In the wake of increased bitterness in the US and abroad, as well as escalating conflict between Russia and Ukraine that places the world on the brink of a third world war, these interfaith dinners drew attention to the urgent need to secure justice for all through compassion. The idea of justice through compassion, that idea of compassion is not something that is one once. The idea that America is an open society that embraces other religions and traditions is not a given. We're living in a world where authoritarianism is becoming more commonplace, where the idea of exclusivity uh, and intolerance is becoming more and more popular around the world. Justice through compassion has been the work of mine on the Judiciary Committee in many different ways, but one of them is to learn from your experience. When this mosque was attacked, what you saw was to bring that attacker closer to compassion. Love all, hate none. Faith leaders from five different religions gathered tonight, not only to debate differences, but to unite together over what they have in common. They say events like this are critical to bridge division that exists today. The initiative drew media attention across print, radio, and television, Associated Press, ABC News, and many local TV stations covered the efforts, along with a featured story on NPR's flagship program, All Things Considered. The leaders of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community were inspired to share their holiday celebrations with those of all beliefs in interfaith dinners at mosques across the country. We thought this seems like the perfect opportunity for people of faith in their season of spirituality to come together and talk about compassion, but not a compassion as an emotion, but more compassion that can result in action to help instill justice. And that's how we've centered around this theme of justice through compassion. It is the hope and prayer of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community that this dialogue will inshallah continue in order to build on the movement for compassion and justice. This is Omar Farooq reporting for MTA International, USA Studios.